How to add images from a network URL or from your phone asset storage into your Flutter app. We will also modify the image shape to square, rounded and circle. Let's start with the image network widget to load an image from the internet. First of all, choose an image from a website and copy the image address. And secondly, within the string, you paste then this URL inside. And with this, we have loaded this image from the internet to our Flutter app. And by default, the image takes the whole available width of the screen. You also can change the width manually by supplying it here inside of this widget. So now our image has here a width of 300 pixels. However, most of the times you want to have a square image and therefore you can also supply here the height and I set it also to 300. Since our original image has here not a square aspect ratio, therefore you also need to set here the box width cover. And with this, it will override then the aspect ratio of our original image. And now we have here an image of 300 by 300 pixels. To make your image rounded, you can simply wrap it inside of a clip R rect widget. And here you define the border radius. I put it for example to 32. And with this, we have here at the corners a rounded image. And if you put here a lower value inside, then our image is less rounded. And if you put your higher value inside, then our image is more rounded. To create a circular image, you can use instead of the clip R rect, the clip oval widget. And with this, we have now here the circle image. For this to work, you also need to make sure that the width and height of your image are the same. Because if you put here another height inside, then your image is of course not a circle, it's more an oval. To load an image from your phone asset storage, you need to create within your Flutter project this assets folder and inside of it you place then the image inside that you want to load into your Flutter app, in this case this image here. Secondly, you need to go into your pubspec YAML file and here inside you scroll all the way down until you see this Flutter tag. Here inside you need to define then your assets, whereas you create then here inside the path to your assets. So in this case, first of all the folder. So this is here our assets folder. And secondly, the name of your image. And this is basically this image that we have placed here inside. If you place inside of your assets folder multiple images, then you can also simply remove here this name. And with this, we will load here the whole image folder instead. Importantly, also make sure that you have here the spacing at the beginning right. And here also you need to have two spaces in front. After you have added here the assets, it is important that you save here this file. And secondly, it is also important to stop here this application. And then you need to start here your application again. Lastly, you need to exchange here this image network with this image asset. And secondly, you exchange here this network URL with your local path to your image. So the local path consists of the folder assets that we have created here. And then we have created this image JPEG, which is then also going here inside. And now if I hot reload this Flutter app, then you see we display here the image from our assets folder. And by the way, if you want to get here the whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Music